friends, family, and honored guests. And of course, the graduating class of 2021, welcome. On behalf of Columbia Basin College, I am Rebecca Woods, president of CBC. And I am delighted to welcome you to our 2021 virtual commencement celebration. We will begin our celebration with the Star Spangled Banner, played by our very own Bruce Walker. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce, that was beautiful. Class of 2021, I know this virtual celebration is not a substitute for our traditional ceremony, but I hope that wherever you may be listening to this, whether in your car waiting to cross the stage or at home with your family, that the pride we have for each of you and the joy we feel for you can come through in this virtual format. Every year, our students and our graduates overcome significant barriers to accomplish their dreams, but this year has not been an ordinary year. The fact that you accomplished your goal during a pandemic should tell you there is nothing you cannot accomplish and succeed at if you want it bad enough, you work hard enough, and you give it your all. You are clearly stronger than you thought. I want to share one of my favorite speeches with you. It's from Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States, who served from 1901 to 1909, and who gave this speech shortly after leaving office in 1910. He said, it is not the critic who counts, not the person who points out how the strong person stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the person who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither nor victory nor defeat. All of you have been in the arena, and after the last 15 months, you have come through like all of us. Your face is likely marred by dust and sweat and blood. But you strove valiantly. You made mistakes. You may have come up short, perhaps again and again, but you did not give up. Failing is not failure. Failing is learning. Failure is not trying. You had the courage to be in the arena, and when you are in the arena, you will be criticized. That's okay. It's absolutely easy for people to sit on the sidelines, not taking the risk of stepping into the arena themselves, but criticizing those who do. 
I would encourage you to be careful about what voices you listen to. There is an old saying, when writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. I wanna encourage you to stay in the arena, keep striving to achieve your dreams. Today is just the beginning. Write the story of your life that you want to be told. The values, the strength, and the character that brought you to this day will carry you through whatever is in front of you. There is nothing you cannot accomplish. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce CBC's Board of Trustees Chairman, Kedrick Jackson. Chairman Jackson is completing his ninth year of service on our board, and we've been very fortunate to have his leadership at CBC. We'd like to express our gratitude to him for his service to our college. Thank you, Kedrick. Now, Chairman Jackson would like to share a congratulatory message with our graduates. Thank you, Rebecca. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome family and friends. This is a great day of celebration, a celebration of your success, graduates, a celebration of your hard work and perseverance to the point of you reaching this major milestone in your lives especially with the most challenging circumstances that have affected all of our lives over the past 14 months. I want to talk to you briefly about perseverance and education and the possibilities they open up in your lives. The legendary business icon, John D. Rockefeller said this about perseverance. I do not think there is any other quality so essential to success of any kind as a quality of perseverance, it overcomes almost everything, even nature. On your personal journey, from the first day you enrolled here at CBC to where you are sitting now as a graduate, at some point, each of you may have had to persevere through a mental or physical obstacle to complete your education here. You certainly had to persevere through the past year of disruption to your education. Through this experience, you may have had some serious doubts or fears to the point of telling yourself, this is it, I am not gonna make it. But because of your deep desire to persevere towards your goal, desire some of you may not have realized that you had within yourself until you faced this adversity, you made it through. So congratulations, you have built a lasting positive memory for yourself and achieved major growth in your character. The other element to your possibilities is of course your education. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said this about education. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Now I personally believe that education in general is a lifelong pursuit. And I fervently recommend each of you make it part of your lifestyle as well. Keep learning beyond your degrees to keep growing as a person. Now that you are armed with the tools of perseverance and education, you can continue on your journey of possibilities to reach your potential. Some of you may have already started your chosen careers. Some of you will continue on to complete one or more degrees at a four-year institution. But what you all have in common is that you will always be a role model to someone you know and always be a CBC graduate. I wanna close with one of my favorite quotes from Mark Twain. The two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you found out why. With graduating from CBC today, I hope and pray each of you have found out that why for yourself. Congratulations, God bless, go Hawks. Thank you, Chairman Jackson. It is now my pleasure to be able to introduce our applied bachelor degree student speaker, Yoseline Mendez Rodriguez. 
I have the privilege of introducing our 2021 bachelor's graduate speaker, Yoseline Mendez Rodriguez. Yoseline is graduating with her Bachelor's of Applied Science degree in cybersecurity. She's a first-generation college student and will be the first in her family to receive a college degree. She was chosen as the 2021 Bachelor Speaker because of her continued service to CBC students and her commitment to pave the way for others like her to receive a college degree. Yoseline served as CBC Student Body Vice President in 2020 and is now the student body president for the current academic year. As her CBC supervisor and mentor, I couldn't be prouder of her accomplishment. Please join us in welcoming your 2021 bachelor's graduate speaker and ASCBC president, Yoseline Mendez Rodriguez. It is always so much easier to give up rather than even try. If this year has taught me anything, it would be that the graduating class of 2021 is one of the strongest classes that CBC has had the pleasure of having. Your last year at college has been hectic and will be one of the most unforgettable years. All of you are graduating now and are entering a new chapter in your life that many have been unable to complete. It is scary out there beyond college. It is downright terrifying, but it is scarier to stay in one place and know that you let an opportunity pass you by than it is to fail. Do not give up now. You have come too far just to quit now. It is ridiculous how strong you all are to have stayed and continued your college journey no matter what was thrown at you. In my years attending CBC, the greatest strength that I found here in others is the persistence of not giving up, and when they fell, the perseverance to get up and try again. No matter how many times they failed, that no matter what, nothing will get in the way of going after their goal. I saw this strength and perseverance in all sorts of people. People who came back to college after so many years away. People who've been told throughout their whole life they will never succeed in college. And the first generation students who were chastised for dreaming too big. I say this as a person who applied to CBC as a joke. From the time I entered high school, I resigned myself to the idea that I would end up in the cycle that many first generation Mexican American people fall into a field worker whom America forgets. In my household, the dream of going to college was a luxury that my family could not afford. Going to college, if spoken out loud, would become a laughing joke among family gatherings. Coming from a town that no one's ever heard of and a high school that the government forgot about, it was hard to dream of going to college without it absolutely shattering my heart. It was hard to dream of going to college as I could never see myself as the people on the college posters and brochures because they never looked like me. The aching back, stinging cuts, and the sun-kissed skin that my parents endured throughout their life continuously reminding me that giving up was the only option that I had. I gave up on my future. I gave up on dreaming and I gave up on ever trying to be somebody. So when news came that I got accepted into my dream bachelor program, I knew that I could not let this opportunity pass me by. I would rather die trying than not have tried at all. I cannot thank the CBC Foundation Scholarships enough for giving me the opportunity to attend college and FAFSA for being generous. From the moment I stepped onto the college campus, I cried because for the first time in my life, I did not want to give up. For the first time in my life, I was able to see past the green paper wall which hid the dream that I yearned for. The dream that I was repeatedly told throughout my life that I would not succeed or go to college. It didn't matter that I had to wake up at 5 in the morning to get to college an hour from where I live. It didn't matter that I had to spread $10 of lunch money throughout a week. For the first time in my life, I do not want to give up. I want to ask you. Through all the fears and the anxieties, the times you stayed up at night to study, the times that you've cried and you skipped lunches, what made you continue to go to college? You had so many opportunities to give up, so why didn't you? I want you to think about that. I want you to use that determination that you have experienced throughout your college career and apply it throughout your life. You are stronger than you think and courageous than you give yourself credit for. Go and achieve your dreams because life is too short to give up at the face of setbacks. In life, there is no easy path. There is no roadmap that you can easily follow. Follow your own path, follow your own dream, and most of all, live your own truth. 
Do not settle for less. Don't settle to live out someone else's dream. And don't let anyone take away your dream. Do not give up. Now is the time to make those dreams of yours become a reality. Not tomorrow, not next year, but now. Thank you, Yoselin. What an inspiration you are to all of us. I now have the pleasure of introducing the 2021 graduating class of Columbia Basin College Bachelor of Science and Applied Bachelor's degrees. I am now pleased to introduce our associate degree student speaker, Sarah Solberg. 
I am honored to introduce our 2021 Associate of Applied Science student speaker, Sarah Solberg. Sarah is graduating with her associate's degree in medical records and healthcare information from CBC. She was chosen as the 2021 associate degree student speaker because she is a prime example of the driving spirit of all CBC students. Sarah loves the outdoors, kickboxing, and her two-year-old daughter, Lilith, who sparked her journey at CBC. Her father says that Sarah's determination does not let anyone stop her from achieving her goals. Her focus and resolve should inspire all CBC students. To all my CBC Hawk friends and family, please help us welcome Sarah Solberg. Hello to my past, present, and future Hawk family. My name is Sarah Solberg, and like each of you, my journey to continue education had its challenges. But out of those challenges, goals were set, plans were made, and success is now ours. Today, as we celebrate the end of the journey and the start of another, I would like to take this time to have all of us stop and take a breath. <sighs> if you have been like me, you have been going nonstop with work, school, family, and some of you may prefer in-classroom settings and miss the one-on-one -on -one connections made with the classmates and instructors. But whatever COVID-19 has tossed your way, I would like to congratulate you on everything you have accomplished. Despite your challenges, stumbles, and frustrations, you made it. You kept moving forward. Even though you may have doubted yourself, questioned if you had made the right choices, I stand here before you today to say, congratulations, you most certainly did make the right choice. Your persistence is the foundation your future is built on. The next step, Rather it be continuing your education, job promotion, or career change can only be possible because of the education you have gifted yourself. Your family and friends are proud of you and celebrate in your accomplishments today. CBC administration, faculty and staff, thank you for your gallant efforts to make our education experience a success. Your thoughtful plans and commitment to a positive student experience has made this unconventional learning situation a success. Without you, many of us could not have been able to complete our journey. My journey to this degree started with the midlife surprise. At the age of 35, I was blessed with my daughter. She's the best life altering thing I could have asked for. After absorbing the magnitude of what was about to happen, I realized that doing what I wanted, when I wanted, was a thing of the past. Someone greater than I needed me to provide the life she deserves. I chose to change my career, but did not know what I was going to do. I faced the challenge of a sight disability that causes issues with reading and writing. This made me doubt myself, wondering if I was strong enough to overcome what lied ahead. CBC staff at all levels supported me, giving me the tools I needed to make this dream a reality. My daughter gave me the strength to accept the challenges of pursuing my education and CBC paved the way for me to travel. My tomorrow is a career in healthcare. I am so excited. For you, it may have been a teacher, friend, mentor, even a family member like me that moved you to further your education. Today, I encourage you to thank them for the love, continued support, and never wavering belief in you. Without them, your journey would have been much harder to travel. Good luck in your future endeavors, whatever they may be. As my family members who have graduated from CBC before me say, CBC is intertwined in our future. It is the garden we grow in, the resources we can always return to. Embrace it own it and appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. What a beautiful message. I now have the pleasure to introduce the 2021 graduating class of Columbia Basin College associate degrees and certificates.
We are so proud of all of you. Please take a moment to hear congratulatory messages from your CBC family and friends. Congratulations, you guys. You've done an awesome thing in an unusual time. We're proud of you, and we're happy that we were part of your educational journey. So not only have you made your own lives better and your family's lives better, but wherever you take your CBC degree, I know you'll be making our community and the world a better place. You did it. Completing a college degree in the best of times is difficult, but you did it during trying times, which shows the world you can do anything that you set your mind to. Go out there and make something happen. It's been an honor to study beside you. Now you guys are on to bigger and better things. Good luck. We're proud of you. CBC's mission states that we inspire all students in academic excellence. But this year, you inspired us and showed that nothing is impossible. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You studied a ton, got the job done. Today is your day in the sun. Congratulations, graduates. Please know how very proud we are of you and how proud you should be of yourself. No matter what comes in front of you, reflect back on the strength that got you through to today and continue to rely on that to get you through whatever stands in front of you. You absolutely have a bright future, each and every one of you, and I can't wait to see what that is. Congratulations and go Hawks! Virtual hugs to you all. You did it. You did it. You really did it. Go Hawks. 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 The fun has just begun. Thank you to everyone for joining us and celebrating with us. This concludes our 2021 virtual celebration. Go Hawks!